I, I think it's important to say that um, there aren't different rules of the game in the subatomic world and the world that we observe, this world of common sense, let's say, that we perceive. There aren't different rules. Uh, and, and it's pretty well understood, I would say it's well understood, how the, the, the world that we see emerges from, the, from this rather strange but well-defined uh, behaviour that, that we, we see in the subatomic world. And it's not only the subatomic world, by the way. This is now, it, maybe you could have argued 50 years ago that this is just our philosophy, it doesn't really matter, <laughs> whatever. But now we have an increasing number of quantum technologies that are really based on this behaviour. The quantum computers being a good example. And so you see that this is not just something that you can say, well, we don't need to think about it really because it's in the world of atoms and it's all a bit whatever and we, but, <laughs> and we can just do some calculations because we're using that behaviour now in technologies. And so, so it really does become a, an important theory to try to, to understand.